talk to you about tomorrow, specifically tomorrow morning. Um, talk about what, uh, what the expectation is and, and kind of where you are in this process. Well, the county's been working with all four health systems in, uh, you know, that are within the county. And the goal is to, you know, ideally we'd like to have a centralized mass vaccination center for anybody who wants them. Uh, but the limiting factors I've been saying has been, you know, the State Department of Health allocates the vaccines. We need to know that we're going to have the vaccines we need allocated to us before we stand it up. Yeah. I mean, is it on the record what, what will be talked about tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Are you able to kind of go through that a little bit? Sure. I mean, it's a, a memorandum of understanding uh, with the four health systems who are involved. And it's kind of like a map to lay out, you know, what the site would be, what it would take to put it together. And, you know, we've had plans throughout COVID for mass vaccination site. And even before COVID, there was plans on the books with emergency management that just discussed generally mass vaccination sites. But as that evolves, you continue to plan. And we went from looking at multiple sites to one centralized site because it would have to be large. Um, and so, you know, we continue to plan. And until we know that uh, we're going to have the vaccines allocated to us, we will continue to do that. Well, look, I think one of the things that I that really I ran across today is that Lancaster County has been very visible, um, very active in pursuing this and talking about this and saying, you know, or, or airing out some of the frustration of saying, hey, we're ready. We just need the vaccine. Uh, why do you think that's important? Why do you think that's happening for Lancaster when, you know, other counties are a little more hesitant? Well, the way Pennsylvania has rolled uh, vaccines out is to many different providers, vaccinators throughout the throughout the state. And that has caused frustration to people because they have to get on many different lists. And look, I think we in most counties would like to have one list where people can go and sign up in one centralized location. But again, the Department of Health from the state has to allocate us the vaccines for that. And you know, we've just been willing to talk about and say that is that is the major factor. We're prepared to get the vaccines out. We're prepared to get them out efficiently, efficiently but we need to be allocated uh, the numbers that we need in order to stand that up. Do you have any sense of what a timeline would be yet? Still in the dark on that, right? Well, I think we could do it very quickly. Um, you know, we, we're talking about March, but if the state were to tell us tomorrow that, you know, they have enough vaccines uh, that we can execute this, look, we'll be ready. We've said that on our calls with the healthcare systems. Our goal is to get these out and get them out efficiency, efficiently. So if they tell us that they're ready to, to give us the vaccines, we'll be ready to get them out. Um, you know, I'll hold you to that. If I, <laughs> if I ever get the word from the state. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, there's just no word though on when it would be available like that, right? I mean, you haven't heard anything from the state that would indicate It'll be March or it'll be April. I mean, you haven't heard anything like that, right? You're just kind of guessing. We're just preparing and we just like we have been throughout, we're preparing and saying that we're ready to execute a, a site, uh, but, you know, we need to have them. And so it, it's still unclear uh, when and if those will be allocated. But, you know, I know our health departments are talking to them uh, as well. And uh, as soon as we, you know, think that that is realistic, we'll be prepared to stand it up.